Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Andy Cine R1 Pocket RGB LED Video Light. It looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. It's compact, it's small, and let's check it out. All right, so here we have it. This is the Andy Cine R1. This is the Pocket LED RGB Video Light. And we can see right here, it says it's gonna have 360 degree, or 360 colors, excuse me, an OLED screen, a Type-C charger, and it's gonna have a built-in battery. It's a little barcode there. Um, on this side, it's gonna tell us some more specs. It's gonna say it's power is gonna be 10 watt max. CCT is 2500K to 7000K. So um, that's gonna be your, your uh, color temperature. Uh, and or your white balance, I guess you can do your color temperature, same thing. Anyways, um, it's gonna have your hue, 360 colors. It's gonna have a CRI of, um, of 97. We're gonna have, uh, it says special effects are seven. USB charge is type C and it's five volts, two amps. And then it's gonna dim, uh, say, or dimensions are 126 by 70 by 14.5 millimeters. Weight is 200 grams and it says TLCI 95. So yeah, some contact info on there. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing open here. So let's uh, let's cut through this plastic and get this, uh, get this unboxed here and see what this is gonna look like. So set that over there and let's slide this out if we can. It looks like this is gonna slide out from somewhere. So let's see if we can get this. There we go. Let's get that out. Let's put that uh put that over there. We'll take this off, take this box off top off and uh, see what this is gonna look like. It looks like we're gonna get a little Andy City uh, cleaning cloth. That's always a nice thing to have there. We are going to get a, uh, what is this? It looks like a user's manual or this is, oh, it's just a thank you card. So there's that. We are going to get the, uh, the operation manual here. So a user manual is always nice to see. Um, on this side, it looks like we're going to get a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging. That's really nice. Um, I'm, I'm happy to see that this is a USB-C uh, charging device because the more devices that charge with USB-C means the less cables I have to carry with me when I go somewhere. So. All right, here we go. Um, also, you know, another thing about that too is, is that when everything uses USB-C, you can just plug in USB-C cables wherever you are in the house, whether if you're in your office or in your bedroom or in the living room, wherever it is, you can just plug in USB-C cables and you don't ever have to worry about finding a particular cable. You just grab any available cable and plug it in and it should work. So that's another nice thing of having a USB-C charging device. So, all right. We also have here, which is a, uh, a cold shoe mount. So this is uh, nice. It's going to light uh, uh, to a adapt this you can plug uh, attach it to like a camera or something like that uh, that has a shoe mount um, we have the uh, the light itself and it looks like we have a little pouch so I'm not sure what that is on the pouch there it look look a little I guess there's a little bit of a lint or something on there so we'll get that off so it looks all nice and neat but yeah anyways that is uh, the pouch there and then let's take a look at the actual light and the light's a little, the light is, it's small. It's really small. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger because of the size of the box. I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer, but it's actually pretty small here. It's it's relatively thin as we can see here. And it's, uh, and it's small, it has a little tiny screen on there. It does say it has an OLED screen. So um, one thing I do like is that it has a switch on here for the power button. So you can just hit that switch and turn it on and that will get it on instead of having to, sometimes people have buttons and I, I prefer the switch because it's much more of a, a uh, definitive motion to actually get it on. So yeah, there's that. Um, you can, you can uh, make adjustments here by just turning that down right there. You can change the color temperature if you like. You can push the button and, uh, and it'll then allow you to change the brightness so that you can turn that down there. So, and if you wanna go back up and change your color temperature again, you just go back up and change it and uh, and you can make the color temperature uh, roll like that. So yeah, this thing is really nice. It's actually, you can fine tune that color temperature really uh, really precisely, which is nice. You have uh, different modes here, so you can then go over into your, uh, into your color mode so you can change the colors. And as you can see, there's gonna be 360 degrees of color, or 360 colors you can make throughout the whole, um, 
color spectrum so you can just have that and let that just go so it's pretty bright right now let me see if i can drop that down let's see if we drop that all the way down there and get this uh so it's not quite as bright there and there we go we'll get that we'll drop that it looks like the looks like the lowest you can go is 10 percent. so there we go so yeah now you can see you can just scroll through and you can change the various colors on there and get that going so that's kind of that's kind of nice so all right now there's also other modes on here like you have your effects mode that will just sort of cycle through you can um you can have this other effect that's going to make it cycle through a little bit slower you can have a strobe mode you can have another flashing mode another uh, flashing mode sort of an ambulance police car mode another ambulance police car mode and then the strobe throw strobe mode again there um I don't really like to show some of those uh, flashing modes very long because some people have, you know, um, some people have issues, health issues where strobing lights will cause them to have seizures and stuff. So I generally try not to show those too much, but they are available on there. If that's something that you're looking for, you can use them. There's different modes usually with, uh, with a light like this that will let you have like, uh, to make it look like a police car or an ambulance or, uh, or a, uh, a TV set or lightning flashes, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, anyways, this is, uh, this is it, and uh, we can see here that on the bottom part here, we are going to have a, um, we are going to have a quarter 20 thread so that we can plug in. Uh, I mean, we can, uh, we can mount that up, so if you're using something like this adapter, you just simply plug that, all right, plug it in. You just simply uh, put it in there, screw it in, and then you can tighten that down, and now you have a shoe mount that you can mount this onto a camera or some other sort of uh, mount that you want to there. So um, on this side, we have the dial, obviously, that's gonna use to control um, the power and the color temperature or the actual color. We also have the USB port on there, so a uh, USB-C port on there so that you can plug in and charge the device up. There's nothing on that side. On the top part is the mode button and the power button, and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty basic, simple light. It does work, it looks good. And uh, yeah, this is the Andy Cine uh, Pocket LED Video Light. And uh, so far, it seems like it's a pretty legit light. Okay, so before we get out of here, I just wanna test this a little bit and see how this works, if it's gonna allow me to light up my background here. So I went ahead and turned off the lights that I use uh, to light up my background. We can see my background here is pretty blah and boring right now. So I'm gonna turn this on. And one thing that you should notice when you turn this off and on is that if you have it set on the hue setting that gives you the different colors, it's automatically gonna default back to the CC T section on here. So you're gonna have to hit the mode button to get it back over to the hue section there. So yeah, there's that. It does keep the same power level that you that you had it before, but it will default back to the regular CCT section where you can control the color temperature. And so yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and put some color on the background there. And there we go, we can see what that looks like. And we're just gonna cycle through this a little bit and see what some of the different colors go. And we can see that we can get like a purplish color there and we can get a little bit sort of a pinkish color there. We can get a little bit more of a pink color and then we can head into the reds there and, and then we can go in and, and get more like an orange color and we can go into like a yellow and we can start to head into say like a green right there. I like that green, that looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, we can get a darker colors. We can go into like a sort of like an aqua there and then we can head into like a more deeper blue color there. So. Yeah, this is really easy to use. As we can see there, we can use this and make quick adjustments and really light up the background pretty nicely. So yeah, that's that's just really kind of awesome and easy. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at the Andy Cine R1 pocket RGB LED video light there. And yeah, as you can see, it works nicely. I'm using it to light my background right now and it seems to be doing the job just fine. And one thing that I want to test on here that it does do is that it allows you to actually use the light while it's plugged into power and charging. So that's very important because I've tried some of these little pocket LED RGB lights that uh, don't allow you to actually charge and use the light at the same time. You have to actually charge it up, use it, and then when the thing sort of drains and goes dead, you have to recharge it again. Well, that doesn't always work if you're doing a long shoot and you need to actually have the thing powered continuously. With this light, 
it works. You plug it into power and turn it on and it works just fine. So yeah, that's a really nice bonus to have. So anyways, again, this is the Andy Cine R1 RGB LED pocket video light and it's pretty cool. It has lots of colors. It's simple to use. It's nice and pocketable and it has an easy to read screen on there. Everything works with it just perfectly nice. It's just a simple light. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page so you can see all the products and services that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.